and just bent my knee in. I heard a pop um, and pretty much knew that was it. Even though a partial ACL tear may allow you to function normally, it's up to the individual whether they want to undergo reconstruction. I had a partial tear, but I never got it repaired when I played. I just, I just played through it and I had a brace or whatever, and then I, I re-injured it. After you've been diagnosed with an ACL tear, the next important step is prehabilitation. You need to get the motion back before we do the surgery. Once you know someone has torn their ACL, you do strengthening of the quads, the hamstrings, different stuff before they go in for surgery. So if you don't have your motion back before surgery, there's a certain risk that the knee might get stiff after surgery. And we call that arthrofibrosis. Realistically, it's probably minimum three to four weeks after the injury. You know, but that's about, about the normal time frame. About three to four weeks when the, what they, we call the initial um, period, the acute injury phase is over and the body tends to start to reach a steady state again. So I wasn't really scared. It was more of a challenge I can accept. It's something that'll, that'll help me. Surgery is necessary to prevent further damage to the knee over time. The real reason to do your ACL surgery is not just to feel normal while you're playing sports, but to protect you as you get older. So a lot of it is the mental capacity and being able to encourage them, keep them going. So yes, if you don't have your ACL done, you can get back and play sports. But that recurrent instability in your knee is more likely to lead to arthritis. A challenging thing from a patient standpoint is not the surgery, because the surgery you come in, you go home the same day. The challenge is the rehab.